Hello everyone, I uh, just wanted to make a few videos, a series of videos that showing how I make knives. Uh, mostly I make a lot of knives from uh, uh, truck springs, 5160 mostly and uh, just wanted to, to go through all the process and show it the way I do it and uh, hopefully you guys will learn something or enjoy watching it. I will make following videos on sharpening and all different details about the grind itself and uh, handles which which I think it, it, it needs more time to to explain every detail but this is two videos part one and two you can watch how I made this knife I hope you enjoy watching this video and uh, thank you very much Normally, I take the spring steel to the size of about the knife I'm making. And here I took it a little longer and, and it was a little harder to work with. But usually I heat it up until it's really hot, non-magnetic, softer to work with. I kind of shape it, try to work with it as much as I can. And then I heat it up and stay there on non-magnetic uh, state very hot for uh, I don't know 15 20 minutes not include the time I'm working with then I shut off the uh, forge and close the front exit and the back door of the forge with the blade inside with the uh, fire blanket that I built my forge with I seal it really good and let it cool by itself for like eight hours, ten hours overnight. That's that's my annealing process uh, to soften the, the steel, so I can continue working with it later and drill it and, and shape it, and and before I harden it. So to work with, you will need to anneal it. So while I work with it now, it's. It's workable and then I put it in and close my forge, shut it off, close it and let it sit overnight to anneal. Here I'm using a chop saw, uh, this grinder, just to remove a lot of materials to get to the handle contour line, just to save some uh, ceramic belts on my grinder. Just take whatever you can. I'm using the uh, grinder with 36 grit sandpaper to start to grind the contour of the blade and remove material. Don't take too much, leave a little bit from where you want to end up with to the finer sandpaper. Just go little by little. first phase I grind the knife to uh, the thinnest I want to get it 
before I harden it. So I'm not going really thin at the cutting edge because the hardening, I don't want to burn the steel right at the edge. So I'm getting some material off and as much as I can, drill the handle three holes while the steel is soft. Because when it's hard, you almost cannot drill it. Um, and here you go, I ran out of oil here. <laughs> Here you just have to watch not to pick up the steel sideways when it's so hot they'll bend, it'll be soft. So you, you see I hold it vertically and pick it up very easy and try with the steel ruler or anything always to watch that it's straight and not warp and when you pick it up always pick up straight and dip it in without to jiggle it a lot sideways it will bend. This is a challenging thing. I had to a couple of times do it twice just to make sure it's straight. Okay. The blade is straight when it's hardened. Good. basically need to watch not to grind the top spine of the blade. You, you, I, I do a convex edge here but in any edge when you grind from the, the edge, the, the cutting edge down you need to make sure you don't hit the spine. So sometimes you can color it or paint it and keep watching it so you don't touch it. Um, just, just go easy. I'm doing a convex edge, so a convex edge it's, it's rounded from the top down to the blade. So that's why I push the back steel plate back and, and I let the, the belt bend a little bit. And sometimes I also use a cloth on the steel plate and get it clo closer, or a piece of felt, and get it closer to the sandpaper. So 
when you push on the blade it's cushiony and it round it goes against against the blade I'm using mostly ceramic belts 36 grit 60 120 200 and 400 that's the finest I go another thing to watch out it's when you get to the point of the blade it's it's getting thinner in that that point I usually leave a lot of steel at, at the edge not to make it that point but you don't want don't want it to heat up to get red then you lose your hardening you gotta go easy or quickly when you get to the tip just quickly to get out of the tip and, and, and to dip it that's why I don't wear gloves so I can feel the heat of the blade once I feel it warm I dip it in the water Please watch part 2 of this video for the finish of the knife. Thank you.